Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with part three of our uh, making a reference journal. And today is all I wanna do is go ahead and put in some of the stuff that I have saved and or found that can go in this reference journal. So I'm gonna tell you right now, we're already in trouble because <laughs> even though this is five signature, four signatures, four signatures, um, I have a pile of stuff. And so um, I want to apologize first to Yvonne. I did see your email asking about um, how I was feeling kind of about the reference journal idea. And we had previously had a conversation about like, where do you store this stuff? Well, these to me, this is valuable enough for me to make a place in my studio um, because I like the idea of just being able to flip it open and find what I want, find kind of reminisce about what I've made in the past. And so I would make a space for this. So I'm not too concerned about that. I don't keep a lot of journals. I have the journal that I was gifted by Cheryl. That's the fairy journal. I have my gratitude journal and then I have my mixed media um, journal that we did a, a kind of strange kind of binding. That is all the journals I have in my studio that are big, that are bigger. I have some uh, little ones and some like, yeah, under four inches. So I'm not concerned about that. So let's just keep going um, with this whole idea and see where it leads us. <laughs> so I'm gonna be skipping around in here and placing things in various places just to kind of spread out the bulk because I do create very bulky ephemera and I am very, very aware of that. So there might be some pieces that I put in, like I've got this big section in the middle that I might put, um, well, actually, we've got big sections in between every signature. So we'll kind of have to play around with where we want everything to go. We will come back and we'll do, we'll make something to go on the inside covers that will be able, will have the ability to hold um, stuff. So I mentioned a couple ideas in the previous videos about where do I put um, notes or who inspired it. And I think that that's where I would utilize this is maybe assign kind of a number to each uh, to each piece and then um, like put it somewhere inconspicuous on the actual ephemera piece and then put the uh, who inspired it and then any instructions that I created in in a, a pocket here. It would be one of those um, gusseted um, multi multi pocket kind of envelope things. So <laughs> I'm sure that that is clear as mud. I'm having such a hard time with my, can see how wobbly that is? And I cannot figure out how to tighten it back up. I had turned it around for my beauty monthly, beauty, beloved beauty monthly video. <laughs> so I actually, thankfully, I guess, I don't have a ton of, of old stuff. So this is all new stuff that I um, created and saved a piece for each of each of the things that I made that as I've been talking most recently. This is all that I really found in my stash that I'd like to put in the reference journal. So I tend to give away a lot of my ephemera when I when I sell a journal, or I give a journal away, or I send happy mail. I just like to give the stuff away. So I really don't have very much. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my videos and start maybe doing a rehash of some of the things I've made so that I can make another one to go in the reference journal. So let me talk to you a bit, bit about what we have. So this was a, a triple envelope um, tag. So let me pull this paper clip off. So it's a hidden paper clip that holds it closed. And it's got this, um, I always forget about this stuff. So, oh, is this the one I'm thinking it is? What, what the what, how does it open? There we go, it was just stuck. So it's got three little things that flip out. Uh, I know that I was inspired to create this by uh, Eve over at Scrapbooking With Me, so I already know uh, where the credit is due on that. So this would potentially go in a pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip it in using the paper clip that, I, uh, that was already attached. So let's just find a spot for this. I'm just gonna plug it in anywhere and um, just go from there. So some things are gonna need to be clipped in because this doesn't currently have pockets. I'll probably have to go through and put some pockets in it because we're gonna need those as we go along. So, boy, having trouble here. Just a moment. Let me get 
Oh, that's because I'm trying. Oh, sorry, guys. I keep thinking I'm going over. Oh, there we go. Not so bad. So that just is sweet as can be. And so we're going to start with the old stuff. And then this is that Magic Pole Pocket. This was inspired by Anne. Um, I believe she is the mother of, um, oh, what's her name? Kelly. Carrie. Carrie Fellows over at Witchcraft Do You Do. And she did this. Um, this magic pull um, tag in a card and so I thought I would give that a try and I love it I used actually some of the papers from one of the your creative studio um, boxes so this again could be free floating we are going to go ahead and glue it in maybe we'll make it with a side tuck so that we can actually stick other bits of ephemera in behind it as storage and just to save on on the, the journal I mean this is a lot of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down on um, three sides. So I'm going to leave this side open, and I'm going to glue here, here, and here. I am going to use my Fabri-Tac. Well, no, I don't. I don't think I will. I think I will use my Barely Arts. We will also come back and we'll do a cover. We'll do the cover because I want you guys. I love doing covers, and Yvonne actually sent me. Um, Oh, she put it in the comments, I think. I cannot remember if that was in the email. She followed a gal who did three different idea books to house all of her beautiful ephemera. I'm going to put this down towards the bottom in case I want to put something um, smaller up there just to, again, utilize the space. So um, I watched the third video. I watched that this morning. Thank you, Yvonne, for, um, for that information. And I loved her journal. I loved how it was just really random. It wasn't perfect. It just housed all the things that she wants to remember, ideas to go into a journal. Versus mine is, my thinking was more, um, oh, I want a replication of what I've created. And that's not necessarily what I'm going for. Um, so I like the idea of, you know, if I did a special kind of paper clip, I could just clip it on any page and I could stick anything in behind this, this uh, magic pull uh, thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Thought I glued it down. I didn't. Yay. So that's cool. Okay. Um, this is a hidden journaling spot. This is a very early make of mine, so it works like this. You guys have seen me do these a lot. This digital is actually from uh, G. Kerr over at Happiness and Crafting. And this was when I was using, I wasn't using as thick a paper, and this is just not wanting to go in as well as my the ones I make now because I use a heavier stock of paper. This was an early make, though. Ah, come on. Okay, let me get my ruler out. When all else fails, just get the metal ruler and get it behind there. And sometimes that just gives you a little bit of leverage to get that in for some reason. There we go. I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to glue it in as a um, as a tuck spot. So I think I will do the same. Well, maybe we'll have it be a tuck at the top. Um, or maybe we'll just glue it here and then just glue it on this side and the bottom and then we have a fuller tuck. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna hold it here because I wanna glue here and here. I toyed with the idea briefly of about doing kind of a three ring binder type of thing, but I, I like the look of the journal, so that's why I ended up doing a bound journal instead of something a little bit different. So again, I'm just going to butt that not quite up to the to the, the uh, edge, but right along there. Just give that a good press and give that a chance to set. But this is why I'm glad I picked the paper that I did because no matter what I put in here, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to fit. It's going to be awesome. So this, I have to remind myself what this was. So it's funny that I made that closure on the front. That would not be something I would do now. I would make, I would hide that seam in the back. Maybe that was a mistake and I glued it wrong or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But this was actually done with Tim Holtz paper. I don't remember where I was inspired 
who inspired this, but it's got a triple, does it have tucks? Yeah, it's got a pocket and a pocket. I think I probably watched this over at Sunflowers Indoors would be my guess. So, um, so let's go ahead and stick those in. I must have just taken them out for whatever reason. Tim Holtz paper is not my is not my favorite. I'm just gonna stick those in there like that. Oh, and then there it had a blemish. So I probably did something, something awry. So this one actually has the sleeve, kind of a belly band sleeve that will allow you to um, to put it in your journal and um, glue this, glue just the belly band part down. So we're gonna do that. So, you know, I may end up with a lot of these journals, but I'm okay with that. I know that, um, I, I can't remember, I think it was Yvonne that said that she gets concerned about space for storing that kind of stuff. And forgive me, Yvonne, if that was not you. Uh, my memory is not the, not the greatest. So, um, so but again, I, I will make room. I will make room in here for them. I'll find a way. <laughs> I have a whole uh, shelf over over there that holds all of my art books, like watercolor tutorial, not tutorial books, but like to-do books and um, things like that. So I could always find a new home for that and put my 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 idea books over there because I would be able to see the beauty of them also from where I sit, which is because that shelf is like uh, just diagonal to the left of me, which is is nifty. So I'm just going to slide this in. It's risky because that glue is, is not set, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Come on. There we go. I love this idea. So I need to go back and find out where I watched that. I'm pretty sure I watched it over on uh, Mandy Reed's Sunflower and Doors channel. This is just a little notebook. I definitely wanted to, to save this and it's got this little extra bit of um, space, a little pocket, and then a little scrappy note card. I need to do more of those. I love them. And then it just closes with a Velcro closure. So we'll put that in here as well. So I'm just going willy-nilly here, guys. I think this one um, I'm going to make, it's kind of thickish. So I'm really actually debating about this one altogether because it's kind of, kind of thick. Um, I'm going to pause on that one. This is a belly band. It's a trifold belly band. So it comes, or not a belly band, a bookmark. So it just opens up like that. I had the slot punch, so I just used that to attach my seam binding. This is my own mixed media paper. It is a copy. And so I thought that was really, really pretty too. So it does the same thing. It's going to we're just going to glue the kind of the belly band uh, section of this. In fact, I'm going to put this back in here so I don't have to struggle like I did on the other one to get that back in there while it was on the page and trying to have that glue set. So very simple make. I think I'm going to slide this one over here. Now this one, because this is stable in the on the page, this could go here and I could st stick stuff here or I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll maybe we'll slide her over here so that we can utilize all this space uh, for other things. So it is the weekend, and I'm having the hardest time creating. I don't know what is going on with my brain, but I'm not. Oh, it's just been a struggle. Um, I have ideas, but I just cannot, I cannot make them work. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of thought, oh, I'll go ahead and do this because this needed to happen anyway. And then I can get refreshed and come back and try again. So that is all the old stuff. I think, um, I kind of want this, but it's kind of bulky. You know what I mean? It's bulky and I don't know how to actually use it in the best way. I guess I could use it as a tuck spot. So maybe I'll put it there and I'll just glue it on on two sides. So let me do that. I just want to make full use of this space in this journal as best I can. 
Oh, that, I thought that was wrong for a second. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of put it up here in this, uh, down here in this corner, and I'm just going to press. Okay. I'm loving this. I don't know where I saw this, honestly. And back then, I wasn't keeping really notes, so I might have set it in the video. And this is our... These are those cool paper clips that we made that have these little tiny, tiny journaling cards and uh, tiny pockets and tiny tags. This is a tiny tag like that. And this we made for the Dry Gatherings journal. So I, again, withheld one so that I could put it in a journal. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that right here. Not putting any lace or any of that kind of business in this journal. It's all going to be just plain Jane. It's going to slide that on. Oh, I love it already. Okay, and this is our, our Z Fold um, tag. This was inspired by Julie over at Jules Designs. And um, so we were gonna, we're going to clip that one in here because I absolutely adore it. And well, let's just clip it right here where we were. And I'm going to try to keep that rusty part about where it was respectively like that it's a little bit bulky but as I mentioned before I do do bulky so now this is one I want to put in but I'm, I'm thinking I want to do I want to get it into a pocket or maybe it can be tucked behind something or tucked here it could actually be tucked there because that was actually from the same journal let's just tuck it up in there just so it's kind of represented there and that's just our little it was a um, waterfall little pad. This was epic. And oh my goodness, I cannot remember her name off the top of my head. She was a, uh, a design team member for Rachel Bella Crafts. This is Rachel Bella's um, a boho uh, series of digitals. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? But I need to go back and watch her video and figure out where she, how she did it. Now, the trouble with this is that... I made this closure like that so that I could hold this closed and I think that's going to be problematic for how I'm going to put it in this journal. So I don't know how I'm going to proceed um, unless it gets clipped in which is a possibility. So let's just do that for now. I'm just going to kind of go back here. And I do, please, I do understand this is going to get bulky but just because of the way that I create. But, um, you know, it's, it's what I do. So I'm not going to be upset about that. And I'm just going to kind of paper clip it here in the middle-ish area. And I'm going to go under that belly band. I probably won't do that exact thing again because it's, it is problematic for being able to actually glue it into a journal because the access to open that up is underneath so okay so let's flip around some more we've got we've got this one this is also one of our oh I loved this this was a waterfall element this was for the dry gatherings journal as well so let's go ahead and find her a spot I think I'm going to go this way and make it, actually I think I'm going to glue it on three sides. So I'm going to leave this side open, so I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to run a bead of glue here. Boy, not great glue lines, Kara Renee. At all. Is that what I, oh yeah, because it's over here. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to kind of go towards the inside here in terms of getting it closer to the, to the fold and just give that all a good press. Once I close the book, it's going to be fine. It'll have time to set. That was so fun to make. I am going to make some more of those for sure. I need to do some for Yvonne's journal. And I printed out the papers for Bontic uh, designs that I'm going to be doing, um, sharing some of their digitals. And I chose the vintage clothing kit. 
oh my gosh it is amazing so I'm I'm thinking about how I want I think I'm thinking I might do a kind of a smaller journal with it just for the fun of it okay so let's go ahead and flip to the front so look at how bulky this is already getting <laughs> oh my oh my heavens okay so let's go ahead and go first page here so I have um, I think this is one of the pieces I think would go well in between at this point in time because it's fairly bulky it's the waterfall feature with using an envelope and the flap as the closure so I think I'll just stick that in there and let's see what else we've got here we've got this beautiful beautiful piece oh my gosh this was so fun to make so this is a pocket so it will be glued on three sides and it's got a tag that feeds in through the top so where do we want to put her let's put her right here boy that's tight fit Kara Renee tight fit but it needs to go on one of these pages because it's got this is on this side so we'll put her right here instead I'm hoping this is gonna fit because I think this is a pretty narrow narrow bit for that tag to fit in So. I hope you guys are doing okay. It's another beautiful day in Washington State. I mean, it's like spring. It's so beautiful. My husband was actually out mowing today, which is just crazy to think that, you know, a few weeks ago we were in snowstorm and winter, a winter event. So it's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's get that up and going. And I'm going to place her. I need to get as close to the the spine as I can because I don't have a lot of room on the other edge so I'm just gonna give that all a good press I'm not too concerned about it once I close the book all that will will set okay on its own it sounds like my husband's inside now probably watching TV This was so much fun. Oh my goodness, this was fun. So I'm just gonna stick this one here because I'm not gonna be able to put it in that pocket right now. So let's go ahead and flip back here somewhere. Um, boy, that was weird. Okay, so then we've got our, this is our origami, um, this is an origami belly band, and I think that I glued this one all shut. I did. So some of them I just paper clipped them so they could be opened up and in and used in a as as a writing space. But this one we're going to go ahead and glue down. So um, it is a belly band, so that means it's going to be glued on the on the top and the bottom. I'm going to pull this tag out just because I don't want to get any glue on that seam binding. So I'm going to glue it right there and then that will leave us room we can stick some stuff behind that as well <clears throat> there we go probably be easier if I moved the book wouldn't it but oh well okay so let's go ahead and just kind of center her as best we can it's not it's not typical um, belly band height but the concept still still stands so these are the pieces that went in the winter wonder journal number one and number two okay so we're gonna go ahead and stick that tag back in there maybe come on come on honey now we're lifting on the bottom goodness gracious I may have to come back and secure some of that stuff this was one of my favorite ones I just love this boy this winter boy and this is our burrito pocket this was inspired by Jen over at Jen's Artie Inclinations and it opens up like this and it's got journaling cards and it's got this fantastic writing space on the inside oh I love it okay so let's go back here find this a home and I love that I don't have to think about where I want this stuff. I can just stick it in. Now this one, I also do want it to be kind of a, um, have the ability to be a tuck spot. So I think I'm going to glue here 
and here and make it be kind of a belly band type of thing just for the purposes of the reference journal. So there we go. And there we go. Just going from corner to corner there. And I didn't take notes on how to make all this stuff. So, um, but I think that when I do, I'm not gonna stress about it, but if I do, I will um, print them out on maybe some vintage kind of uh, background paper or something and put them in, in here. But, um, but I'm not gonna st stress about it either. <clears throat> because again, behind this, I could just stick a little note that says, inspired by Jen at Artie's uh, at Jen's Artie Inclinations, and I could go back and watch the video or check it out. A lot of these are, videos are in my uh, saved playlists as well. So I need a drink. And we only have two more, so, and then this is our vellum pocket. This was so much fun. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at this. Stuffed full of beautiful things. Three different writing spaces in there. It's epic, epic, epic. So and it's got the closure just with this, um, this kind of tab, tab punch that I have. And then this just slides under there, not under the vellum, just under the, the lip of that. That was super fun. So let's go ahead and go back here again. Pop, pop around a little bit. Let's put her right here. So this one's a little tricky because she's wide. She's wide. She's a wide girl. We don't always pay attention to that in my journal. So this is flatter here, so I think I'll have better success back here. Let's just put it back here somewhere. And so again, I want to be able to have it utilized as a tuck spot, so I think I'll glue on this side and the bottom. So I'm gonna hold here, and I'm gonna glue here and here. So when we get to the, um, the cover, I'm gonna do it pretty minimalistic. It'll be pretty one, one dimensional because it's gonna take a lot of wear and tear, but I also don't want it to be plain. So, so we will be putting something on the cover, just not exactly sure what at this time. So I'm just pressing that all down, give it a chance to start setting. And then we only have one more piece. Oh, we have more pieces. I have so many of these. So um, I don't know why I didn't send this along to, to Judy. This should have really gone in her journal. I think I put one in there, but maybe I meant for two of them to go in. These are hidden journaling spots with a pocket. So they're stuffed full. They're super fun. Um, so I think I will put this one in. And then I've got this most recent one, which... I don't even know if you'll th will have seen the video by the time this one goes up because I might put this one ahead on the schedule. Um, so there we go. Bingo. Okay, so so this is cool. So again, we've got this nice little tuck spot here, and a person could just put like a little sticky note right here to say you know who inspired it, you know where you watched it if you watched it on another another creator's channel. You could do that. So let's put this honey right here. This is a tall one, tall, tall baby. So I think that I'm going to make this a belly band as well. Um, no, I can't because of the way it's made. I made these ones different than I normally do. I could still do it here and here and make it smaller. So I think I'll do that. Actually, you know what? We could paper clip it in. Let's do that. Sorry for the jumping around. I'm gonna grab a rusty paper clip here. Attach it here. Oh, so cool. So cool. And then our last one is this is a hidden paper clip that I just created. Um, a pocket and then a little tuck. It's just a little bit bigger than those other ones that I showed you. And it's got a little one over here as well. So we will find a spot for her. 
also how about right here it's a little bit bulky because of the seam binding now that I think about it because it's not just the seam binding sticking out the edge it's the seam binding here as creating bulk in the journal but that's okay so let's close her up this is what she's already looking like guys so so just for so that's how she's popping out but this would be tied shut so it can get quite a bit bigger okay so I need to focus on like what else would I want to have go in here um, as inspiration that's a little bit less bulky I'm just not sure I'm just not sure see we've got a lot of bulky pieces like this one's really bulky because it's got a lot of pieces in the pockets but um, I'm okay with that so when I tie these off it'll be like that it won't be a gator mouth and so you can see I have a lot of a birth there to to still work with so I'm feeling really really good about this you guys so um, I will see you in the next video if you guys have any suggestions um, for this I would love to hear them I've never done a reference journal before or idea book or whatever you want to call it um, so I would love to hear what you think but I love the idea of the sitting on my shelf with all these pretty sticking up out of the top and just being able to go and grab it and I would probably even actually maybe put something on here some frayed fabric uh, maybe put something on here that indicates that this is reference journal number one and then two three four however many <laughs> however many I end up but again for me it's worth it now I believe that Yvonne says she takes pictures and she keeps them in on, on her computer which is also a fantastic idea the only thing the only reason why I want to do this because I love to have them in my hands and because I don't hold on to my actual product I don't actually hold on to a lot of my stuff it's out the door and then it's boom I've forgotten all the nuances of the piece that I created so um, so but again to each his own right if space is a problem for you or a concern then there are other options and I think the idea of taking a photo and I have all my everything that I videotape I have multiple fo photos of everything and I might just go through some of that and grab a little you know shrink them down into a more manageable size and and create that same kind of idea so that I've got something digitally as well um, to kind of remember what I've done which would help me with the ones that I don't actually have a physical uh, piece of, of reference material so so that is it for today take care my friends bye bye